mudslide with huge boulders shut down Highway 55 all day today, and it probably won't be cleared until overnight tonight. As our Roland Barris reports, Idaho Transportation Department says even after the 15 feet of debris is cleared, the risk of more mudslides is likely. Look at the size of these big movers. Then look at how they struggle to move this giant boulder blocking Highway 55. There's a whole lot of dirt, debris, trees, rocks that fell down here. And so you can see behind me, it's a, it's a big operation to get it cleaned up. Crews work through the day to clear the slide near Smith's Ferry while diverting traffic to U.S. Highway 95. No one was hurt when the slide came down, but these days... A lot of water's up here. There are no guarantees on Highway 55. We've got our material engineer up here who's taking a look and seeing what's the stability of, of the existing and the, what's, what the material that's remaining up there. Melder says the slide left behind mostly rock, which is stable, but the edges of the slide will bear watching. ITD makes regular checks of the hillside during the spring thaw. Melder says the material engineer expects minor slide activity, but he's not certain that we're going to have a big landslide event. Meanwhile, this giant boulder is being moved to the side as ITD decides what to do with it. And even after traffic resumes with near 80 degree temperatures on the horizon, the question remains for how long? Roland Barris, six on your side. Again, Highway 55 should reopen overnight, and on the bright side, ITD tells us the area damaged by the slide was scheduled for repaving anyway at the end of this month because of all those potholes.